Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is Sir Cubs and if you are new here, you may hit subscribe and click the notification bell for future videos. In this video anyway, we will be talking about uh, parabolas. First, we will discuss the definition of parabolas. So a parabola is a set of points of which each point has equal distances to the fixed point and to the fixed line. So by illustration, we have this, for example, if we have this point as the fixed point, okay, so you can actually make any point and consider it as a fixed point, and also a fixed line here, again, the same way, you can also make any line and consider it as the fixed line. For us to get a parabola, you have to make sure that each point of that parabola has equal distances to the fixed point and to the fixed line. So that's according to the definition. All right, now, for example, if I have to consider this point, okay, I will claim that this point is part of the parabola, then it must be that the distance to the fixed point, okay, so the distance of this point to the fixed point and the distance of this point to the fixed line should be equal. Okay, for me, of course, not to get the, I mean, to consider this point as a point in the parabola. Otherwise, it cannot be part of the parabola. Okay, so you have to remember that the distances to the fixed point and to the fixed line should be equal for us to get a point on the parabola. So if you are to make another point, you have to make sure that the distance to the fixed point and the, dist and the distance to the fixed line should be equal. If you have a third point, so of course the same way, the distances must be equal. And the fourth point, of course, for example, then you have this distances as equal. So from here, you can actually draw, connect all these points by a curve line. And then consider this curve line as the parabola. Again, you have to remember that each point of this parabola has equal distances to the fixed point and to the fixed line. So as you know, there are infinitely many points of this parabola. So each distance of each point, okay? So the distance of each point to the, para to the fixed point and to the fixed line are always equal. That's the definition of the parabola. Now, let's connect the definition of the parabola to the eccentricity of the conic sections. So, eccentricity is the ratio of the distance from a point in a curve to the fixed point to the distance from the same point to the fixed line. So, eccentricity basically is just the ratio of distances. So, that means we are to consider at least two distances this time. Okay? So the two distances that we are talking about is first, we have the distance from a point in a curve to the fixed point, and the second is the distance from the same point to the fixed line. So here, if we, if we have to um, go back to this statement here, the distance from a point in a curve, so it's not being specific to what point. In short, you can pick any point on the curve. So you can pick this point here, this point, this point, this point, any point on the curve. As long as it's on the curve, you can consider that one as the point. Okay, now in our case, I'll just consider this one as the point in the curve. Okay, again, you can pick any, but I'll just consider this one in my illustration and in my discussion. Now, the distance of this point to the fixed point, the fixed point is here. We can label that one as the point F. Or actually, in parabola, we call it the focus. We'll be talking about more about, uh, we'll be talking about focus more in the next video. Okay. So that's the distance from a point in the curve to the fixed point. So that's PF basically. Okay. Next to that is the distance from the same point. So that means the same point P to the fixed line. So to this line here. In the parabola, the fixed line is known as the directrex. Directrex, again, we'll be talking about it more in the next videos. So as for now, let's use the variable D as the first letter of the word directrex. Okay. So... The ratio of the distances PF and PD is known as the eccentricity. Okay? So that's eccentricity. It's only the ratio of distances. So what distances, again, first is the distance from any point of the curve to the fixed point. So that's basically PF. And the distance from the same point, the same point to the fixed line. So that's PF and PD, the distances, and the ratio of these two distances is the eccentricity. Now, in symbols, we can say that eccentricity, or E, is equal to PF over PD. That's ratio, right? We can write ratios in, I mean, we can write ratios as fractions. So, we are, I am now um, writing it in fractions. That's PF 
DD. Next to that, remember in a parabola, uh, I have discussed this one earlier, the distances of each point to a fixed point to a fixed line, I mean the distances of each point to a fixed point and to a fixed line are always equal. So the distances of each point, so any point on the parabola, the distance to a fixed point and the distance to the fixed line are always equal. So in other words, PF is equal to PD in symbols, right? So PF is always equal to PD. If you take this point, it's still PF and it's still PD and they're always equal. Okay? And since they're equal, we can conclude already that eccentricity is always equal to 1. Okay? So in there, we have if PF is equal to PD, then eccentricity is equal to 1. And it happens always, not all the time, when we talk about parabolas. So of course, if PF and PD are equal, so if PF is 5, then PD is also 5. When you divide them, that's equal to 1 all the time because they're always equal. Okay, so that's the definition of parabolas in the eccentricity of the parabola. Um, next to this will be about the standard equation of the parabola and the general equation of the parabola, as well as the graph anyway. So that's it, guys. Now, thank you for watching my videos. See you in my next videos. Goodbye.